Hello friends, welcome to TechLake video tutorials. Uh, in this ongoing Spark SQL video sessions, a uh, previous video we covered uh, SCD, uh, what is exactly slowly changing dimension and uh, different types of SCD. And that we will continue from here. Uh, how to create SCD type 0, how, what is exactly type 0 and type 1, type 2, type 3 with a practical session. So if you go through that uh, DML operations in a DBC file, the DBC file uh, which I already uploaded in a Google Drive and uh, it is available in my GitHub which I already shared in a GitHub link in every video description, you can find that. And once you find that a DBC file, you can import your Databricks workspace. There you can find a folder name called DML. So inside that DML, you can find the merge SED type 1, type 2, type 3. First, we'll understand type 0. So type 0 primary requirement is only insert or append. Like mainly if you have a static table and if you don't have absurds combination, right, then we can go with the type 0. Okay. So what I'll do, I will show you with a simple example here. I'm going to delete if the table already available in this location. And I'm going to create this table. It's, it's, uh, it's a three columns, department number, department name, locations. And I'll insert the data first. I'll insert the data. So department 10, 20, 30. So treat it, treat, this table is a target table. This table is a target table. I'm using only insert, only insert you see this, okay? So next time, whenever, whenever you get, again, you want to insert the data, consider this table is having some data. Table is having some data. So department 10, 20, 30, observe here, 10, 20, 30, 40. I only did, did insert. So one time insert will be there some projects. Only one time insert will be there. Some projects, again, they will send you the data. But if data available, ignore. If not available, insert. Okay. So that which we can go with the uh, anti join. Okay. I will show you with another example. I'm going to create a source table. Consider this is a source table. You'll get some data. The same columns treat as source table. Consider you are getting some data 10, 40, 50, 60 department numbers. But targetable already is having a 10 and 20, 30, 40. So the 10 and 40 is already available in target table. So you, we need to do only insert. So insert, when you're doing insert, what will happen? This 10, 40 will insert it again. But we need to insert only which is not there in target table. Even there is a join type is called anti-join, anti-join. Okay, anti-join is same as like uh, not in, not exist or left anti join so all are same just i will show you this so 10 40 already available in target table so when you select this from source table with the not in then it will give you 40 50 60 then you can go with this insert or you can use anti join both are same anti join back end even spark treat as anti join only even not in if you use when you go with the uh, as uh, SRC T join as a TGT you can use a condition SRC dot department number equal to TGT dot department number both are same okay both are same so not in not exist anti join all are same the, even Spark also treats anti join only. This one treats as anti join only. So now you can select only select only data which is not available in target. Then insert insert operation. Normally static tables we will do only once in every project, but some very rare scenarios. Again, your source team uh, they send some data. Again, you need to verify and insert only insert only. So this is called type zero. Type zero, most of the projects will have a static tables. We'll do insert. In some scenarios, if you have already data, you can use anti-join. Even some interview 
also they will ask you what is anti join when you'll go with anti join and you want to verify with the target table if data already available or not then you can go with anti join which is not there in target table it will select if you want to select which is already there in target table then you can go with a semi join okay but we want to insert which is not there in target table okay so that is anti join are not in are not in are not exist all are three are same three are same now let's understand type one so type one requirement is merge upset upset means overwriting history overwriting history if data already available it will overwrite the history using a merge using sql merge so merge syntax will be like this merge into target table using source table or query on condition basis when matched then update when not matched then insert even you can use a condition multiple conditions here one is merge condition on top of this again update condition delete condition which we can use that let's take a simple example here i'm going to create one event table i'm going to create one event table event id event date event uh, uh, status consider okay delete operation or you can say so anything or i'll take some customer data this is the example customer data also have given example here yeah here okay so this is the customer table consider this is a target table it is having some data okay So customer ID, customer name, customer location consider. This is data which is already there in our target table. This is our target table. And whenever you get data from source, how you will achieve, how you will implement a CD type one using a SQL. Consider this is a source table. This is source table. Okay, I'll show you both the tables data in the same window. You'll get more clarity on this. Let's observe here. This is target table, sorry, source table, which you are getting employee ID or customer ID 145. This is a target table, which is having 1, 2, 3. If you look at this, one already there in target, but if you see the location, location is different. This you can treat as old location. This you can treat as new location, which is coming from source. Consider this customer earlier, it was in Chennai. Now that customer is moved to Mumbai location. Now latest one is Mumbai only, which you need to update that. But this two records, which is not available on target, so which you need to insert. So that is called upsets. So which we can go with merge into target table using source table or query when so on condition basis on i'll create alias name as this is a target t alias name as this is source yes so t dot id equal to yes dot id when matched then set update when not matched then insert when you go with the update or insert, if you want to update all columns or uh, specific columns, right? The set of columns which you can go with updating and a set of columns also which you can go with the uh, values with inserting. So I have gave a syntax, complete syntax here. Yeah, for set of columns. You can go with insert, you can go with update or you can go with the delete. So merge support all operations. Okay, but SCD type one, normally we want to use a delete. A CD type one, we want to use a. So, based on this, if condition is ID basis, record is matched, then update set all columns. So, update all columns. When not matched, then insert. So, what will happen if from source table to target table, one record it will update. Two records it will insert 
you see this number of affected three one record updated two records are inserted what is happen the ram location is mumbai so it is updated ram location is mumbai you see this and these two records inserted four five it is not there it is inserted so insert also happen update also happen but when it comes to scd type one requirement is this one your data warehousing project most of the dimension tables fact tables transaction tables we will be using scd type one so type one means whenever you get a change in data we will overwrite scd type two is different type one is just a merge type one is just a merge overwriting history so you cannot find this customer previous location what was his previous location if he changes 100 times also you cannot find that customer previous location so this is about type one even merge also same example you can write and we'll take another example on merge with the event table let's take uh, the event table so here I'll insert some data into event table and how we will achieve insert update delete operations that is called upset this is a target table consider this is target table and when you get a data from source table and you get data from source table this is your source table consider updates is source table let's uh, I'll query and I will show you the date this is very important concept remember okay so why we are using a delete flag column here any data warehousing project if you want to design a data model if source system is going to delete one record if you want to delete a record how we will achieve that because if they are deleted a record how you will know that record is deleted Okay, whenever you get a record, you only will have a two options, update or insert, right? But how we will know which record is deleted? So they should send one some additional column. The column will have some status or flag, true or false, one or zero, or delete, okay? So they should send some status. So consider this is a data from coming from source. Here you look at this. This is the data already there in target. Okay. Whenever you want to achieve deletes in target warehouse, if source is going to delete, so they should send some flag boss. This record is not deletion. This record is true. So you should delete this record in your target. The record already there is right. So you should delete that record. You should delete that record. Then remaining record which is already there one already is there but there is a event date difference event data also message different and some other records like a uh, which is a five six seven which is not there so insert insert these three records delete this record update this record so you need to achieve insert update delete three operations at a time so that is possible with a merge insert update delete this is the target table observe carefully record one already is there so but different date this is the latest date latest message which you need to update this one this record you are getting a delete flag is true so you need to re remove this record this three records which is not there in target so which you need to insert those three records so three records insert one update one delete so that is possible with merge merge into target table using a source table on condition basis if it is matched if the delete flag is true then delete remember i'm using a condition here if delete flag is true then delete if it is matched if there is no delete flag then go with updating data then if it is not matched then insert the data so this merge statement will do insert update delete three operations at a time so that is advantage that is advantage of merge statement five rows affected one row updated one row deleted three record inserted you can verify in a table 
you cannot find the second record the first record event id 1 it is updated with the latest data second is deleted 5 6 7 is inserted if you want to edit columns you can manage edit columns just uh, without edit columns i am explaining just to understand the concept just to understand the concept so this way which we can implement a cd type 0 a cd type 1 insert update delete operations in a single statement that is called merge sql merge okay so next video what we will do we'll understand type 2 and type 3 we'll understand type 2 and type 3 if you're not subscribed my channel please subscribe and see you in another video thank you have a good day